Hi, it's Lori the Armchair Chef. This is a shopping haul. There's some mystery and some not so mystery. I've had these boxes sitting around for quite a while. So I decided to finally do the opening. There's two Hirschner boxes. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I pulled out one of the invoices so I could see how much mystery is in here and how much I bought on purpose. I have, there's gonna be a bag of holiday yarn grab bag, one of those. Baby yarn grab bag, one of those. Cotton mill ends, two of those. Alpaca mill ends, two of those. Worsted weight, 28 ounce package, two of those. Sock yarn pack, one of those. Um, touch of alpaca. Apparently there's a color, so that's three of those. Five Himalaya Angel, two mill ends, bulky mill ends, and date nights, a bag of three, Lion Brand date night, a bag of three, and then some Himalayan air wool multis, four balls. So let's take a look and see what they are, shall we? There was a discount code and I spent way more than I wanted to, or than I should have, I should say. So welcome to my channel. This is one of my shopping hauls. And is this picture as blurry you as it looks to me? I don't know, it looks blurry to me. Maybe that makes me look better. So I think that'll be okay. All right. Let's see. This is the Air Himalayan Air Wool. Ooh, look at this. Like a bulky lime green multi, just white and lime green. How cool. This is a very soft. It says Air Wool. What is in it? Acrylic, polyamide, and 13% wool. And it's like puffy. So it's probably, let me see what it, is it like spun? Yes, I believe. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of spun or braided. Very pretty. How many of these did I get? I got two of these with a uh, lime green and a white. And it looks like I have another two that have some blue in it and some yellow. So these could actually all go together. This one's just lime green and yellow. And this other one has blue and, and like a lime green. Um, it looks like a five. And is there specs on this? It says six millimeter knitting needles. It's a, it says it's a four. I think, I do not think that's a four. I think it could be a four if you squished it down, but apparently there's four of those. Those are kind of nice. That would make a very nice cowl, very soft. All right, let's see what this is. This is a, looks like a kit. I didn't see kit on my thing. Um, Maybe it's the, I don't know. <laughs> it's Willow Yarns. And it says Mural Shawl. And it has two colors in here. Maybe it's just the Willow Yarn. Nothing here says Willow. So I just don't know. Not sure. Very pretty, very skinny. It's like a two, but there's one, this is the purple and blue and then some green and, and uh, orange and brown, pretty. It doesn't say anything else. So maybe it is a kit, maybe it comes with this. So let's put this in here.
this looks like a kit or one, two, three, four, five, six games of Premier Eversoft. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I'm really not. <laughs> I just opened this and it's like, it looks like a kit. This blanket, but it blankets in one color and I have one, two, three, four, five, six colors in this package. So it's the Premier Eversoft in a taupe and a blue, uh, looks like a periwinkle, a green, a gray, a tan, and a, another gray. So I'm not sure. Um, it says intermediate. So I have a feeling I bought yarn and didn't worry about the pattern because you can do anything you want with the yarn. You can make anything else. So I have like uh, six colors now I can use for something instead of making using that intermediate style throw. So this is actually pretty hefty. Okay, that premiere is shiny. Now, oh, here we go. Here's a Christmas one. Comes in a bag, special delivery. This would be the holiday yarn grab bag for $30. Let's see what we've got. Shall we? I don't know if others of you have gotten these and what you got in it um apparently holiday yarn so we have touch of alpaca this is pretty gray nice and fuzzy uh it's a four weight 90 acrylic 10 alpaca which is just a touch 207 yards very pretty oh this came with hanks wow Implicity by Haiku. This is a gray with a silver thread running through it. Um, merino, acrylic, nylon, and metallic. 107 meters. That's very pretty. But I don't think gr all gray is uh, Christmassy, but I did get two of those. So that would be 214 meters. Now here is some, ooh, this is different. I have never bought this. This is Velux Jumbo. This is very thick and it's like a fabric. It's not like a plushy. Oh my goodness. Do they have a picture of what they might make? It says it's a seven. Yeah, it looks seven. Um, it's only 21 yards. This could do some sort of a garumi thing. Not sure. Or as a border on something, maybe. Or the bottom of a bag, because it's very dense. Don't know. This one's called Harbor Mist. It's gray. And then this one's like a really pretty bright purple. Oh, it's brighter than what's in that picture. So that's interesting. I don't know how this bag screams holiday. There's one more thing, and it's another touch of alpaca. Okay, I have gray and lavender, gray and lavender, and gray. So this looks like a very dreary holiday, very gray. Yeah. I'm not real, uh, kind of, I don't know. I was, would, ex but then again, we always get red and green, right? So maybe this is a nice change to make something different. That's not always red and green. So I guess you look at it that way. This would be very interesting to figure out what to do with it. I will have to look on Rav uh, Ravelry and see if anybody's used this in anything. But because it's only 21 yards and there's two of them. So, yeah, I'm not sure. It's very thick, which is nice. I would not think of a wearable. I would think of a household thing or a mat 
kind of a rug type of a thing, maybe with another yarn put in with it, maybe something frilly or a fur around the edge or something. So maybe, but yep, that's a holiday one. That was $30 of yarn. According to them, I think the bag is probably more uh, valuable than the yarn. But let's move on. Here is some shiny. Ooh, that's the date night. They're clearancing out their date night. So this is the gold, the gold yellowish one. I believe this might have been the only one. It's called Beryl, B-E-R-Y-L. And this is very pretty. Now this screams holiday, if I, if I have to say so. So this would be, it says it's a four, 273 yards times 300 grams so 300 grams of yarn that that screams holiday to me so i did get that one and there are some mill ends i believe these are the cotton cake mill ends and they match <gasps> they match look at this it's pink and purple and goes to black Awesome. This is a two. It's a sport. 100% cotton. Very nice. It's always nice to get uh, something that matches so you can have something bigger. This is uh, 875 yards. So that's over 1600 yards of a two. Very pretty. And they are, they look like they are wound the same. That's a nice. That's a nice plus. So let's see what else is in here. Oh, I have another bag <gasps> and they have two different ones. These are two different ones. So I lucked out and got two that were the same. This one is a blue with a gray and a pink to a red, which is still pretty. And if they're 800 yards, that is very nice. And that's 100% cotton. That's the mill end. And here's the bulky. The bulky would be pink and gray. This is nice for some of those, um, those the quick and easy list that I have, the playlist where it says it's quick and easy. A lot of it's quick because you use bulky yarn and it works up fast. That's what makes it quick. So doing stuff fairly quick, like scarves and hats works up very fast if you wanna get them done for the holidays or for a, a show or something coming up in the winter. So yeah, this looks like it could be, yeah, this is an alpaca blend. So it's a very thick alpaca blend. It would be 20% alpaca. You can machine wash cold, but it's nice to get a, a thing here that says what's in it. That's very nice. So I have another bag down here. As soon as this box is empty, I'm gonna start using this box. So. I have another one of these kits or not. Looks like the same thing, the Eversoft, but this one has a pattern with ornaments that do not match what's inside. So what I'm thinking is, did I get too bulky weight? to worsted weight 28 ounce package. That could be this one. 28 ounces, how much is in one of these? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, five times seven is 35. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, five times six is 30. Okay, this probably is that. These are probably the um, worsted weight yarn. So these probably $17 a piece because there are six of them and they're each about five ounces. That's 30. That's probably what it is. Got the cotton, the mill ends. Um, and I got two of these. So that's probably what this is. 
Because there's still some more in here. The bulky, uh, yeah, there's some more in here. That's, that's nice. This stuff's, and, and now I have twice as many of them. So each color there's two of, and that, that would be good for striping to make a, a, I always, my mind always goes to Chevron, but I saw this and this one as one of those blankets that people are making. Look at the points on that one. How many points is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, or 12. What's that called? <laughs> Not an octagon. Octagon is eight, right? I think this is more than eight. That'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I like making one of these. This would be very cool. Oh, look at the one in there. I like that one better. It's brighter. Round ripple afghan. I really, really like that. I think I'm going to pull that one out and see if I can find it online. I like YouTube videos better. Oh, look at the yarn. How pretty. This is a coral. It looks like a taupe and a blue. So there's like only eight balls. That sandbox. So it is kind of a sand color. Oh my goodness, very pretty. And I don't know if this was a kit because, oh gosh, I don't know. I try to match it up with what's on here and I have no idea because a lot of it said my choice, my choice, their choice. So this could be what their choice is, just a bag of like a kit, you know? And um, no, I love this one. I'm gonna think I'm gonna look for one of these online. Yeah, start another project and not finish one. That's my MO. I just find new things I like and start them. Okay. This is another one of those alpaca blends, same colors, pink and gray. So there's uh, twice as much of that, which is never a bad thing. This would be the bulky grab bags. These are the bulky weight acrylic millams. And these are the same. I recognize this. I've had this before. Look at this. I've had these. What was this called? This is not impeccable, but this was, I've had this. So this must be what that is. And then I have the tweed with the flex in it. And then the light blue. And the blue could go with the stripes. I've used this before in something. And I, it doesn't impress me because I don't like blue and brown together. And this is blue and brown. It just is not pleasing to my eye. And this looks like that stuff I made that hat out of, out of that was very pretty. So, okay, that's bulky and that is quite nice. So, that's extra bulky yarn. So if you want something done quick, use your bulky yarn. And there's another one of these. I picked Touch of Alpaca. It's a bag of three. And this is so pretty. Um, this is kind of a pink lavender. Very pretty. I'll see if it says what it is. I love it. Yeah, but I love the soft. I can tell it's squishy just from, you know, I'm going to have to open it. And I'm leaving them in there because I did end up with so many of them. I may end up not keeping them all, but I don't want to just open everything and then decide I want to share it with somebody else. 207 yards. So that's 600 yards. And this color would be B, does it say blush rose? Yeah, it's kind of a pinky. Very pretty. Okay. Oh, one more. And then I can open the other box. This would be the Himalaya Angel. Okay, this is Himalaya Angel. There's five of them. What are the specs on this? This is very small. I have a feeling this was clearanced out. What did it say? This is the Himalaya Angel. It was a bag of five, <laughs> a dollar a piece. 
So these are a dollar a piece. It is six hundred yards for each one in a size two. So three thousand yards in a size two in this color. It's a creamy color. So if a pattern calls for something small, I don't have a lot of small yarn because I don't want to use a lot of small yarn because it takes a long time to finish a project and I'm very impatient. So yeah, that's why I go for the bulky yarns. I get my projects done faster. Okay, I have another, I have an empty box. So I'm gonna take this box, put it over there and open up the other one and throw the yarn in this one. So, okay, so how's everybody doing? Oh my goodness. Everybody's getting ready to um, start your April projects and your new make-alongs and your creators and everything that ends in March is going to be ending and you'll be starting your new April stuff and we're still getting bad weather. And last year we had snow in June. So the trees are blooming, the trees are blossoming, but I think it's going to be a big fake out. I really do. I like the cooler weather, but I love me some summer. I really do. Okay, let's see what we got in this box. Was this the heavy one? I don't remember. No, I think the other one was the heavy one. No cotton. Oh, no, I did get cotton. I got those, oh, yeah, those mill ends were cotton. Other than that, all my cotton was in my other ones, my other mystery bags. Oh, yeah, this one's not as full. There's a lot of paper in this one. Packing. So let's throw that in there. And let's see what, oh, I got a bunch more of those. Okay. I picked up, I think these are all mystery stuff. Nope. Okay. I have Colorama Ogos that were $5 a piece. So I got one, two, three, four different colors of those. Um, a sock yarn pack. The other one supposedly has sock yarn packs too. That must have been the ones with the little skinny yarn, huh? I got the mill ends. I got three of them this time. Those, those cotton cakes. I got three of them. Those were 14. And I did get a kit, a 50 inch nostalgic round Afghan and some Sundance gradient marl that is called strawberries and cream. So let's take a look at the cotton cakes first. See what we've got. We got two that match. Pink and purple. I think this matches the other two. So maybe there's four of them. Ooh. This is a two self striping cotton cake mill ends. Maybe I can make me something very cool. I don't know. I don't do well with the small stuff, but I need to do something. I need to try. So there's two of those. I got three of them. So this one matches. This one's matchy. This is going from purple to blue to black. Both of these are the same. Both of these are the same. And, and, oh, both of these are the same. Wow, that didn't happen last time. Gray and green and brown and white. That is awesome. Because you could start from the middle to the outside and then go from the outside to the inside and have it opposite that would be very cool on a corner to corner to have all the color on the inside and then the whites on the edges that would be very cool okay let's see i like that one with the white now i have a lot of ogos these were i have one of each and four of them they were five dollars a piece there's a colorama and it looks like it's a little chunky they are, I think they're a five. And yeah, these are the old ones that have the whole cover on them. So these, these were pretty old. 
um yeah all the stuff's on the bottom these were fives has 228 yards it's actually a whole that's a lot on one for a five that's a lot so this one is wine time and it goes from a, a red to a darker kind of purple to kind of an orange um the next one is Lippy. It's called Lippy. And it goes from pink to uh, kind of a orangish beige and then around to the red and the pink. I don't know. Do you guys you when when they come like this? Do you use them in the order in your project that they come in, or do you separate the colors? I don't know. Kind of interesting because it, it shows you know the bottom. We we all have know about these. So let's see what the next couple are. There's four colors. This one is whites and blues, different shades of blue. This looks almost like what's in that hat down there. That one almost not quite this one is called i'm always doing it upside down overboard so it's technically to be kind of a water and this one is browns this is tabby tiger so this is some browns and some cream and a little kind of mossy green all right that's pretty good this is another one of those that i got out of the other one maybe this is this isn't that sock yarn they were talking about was it? this is that that mural shawl this looks like the exact same colors that i had in the other one so i don't know which one that was um Ooh, this one's very pretty. This is the gradient marl in the strawberry. And I believe, yeah, I got 10 of these. These were $2 a piece. So two, four, six, eight, ten times it's a three. And 10 times 100 percent acrylic. 2700 yards beautiful baby blanket this would make oh this one busted open oh, very soft a little bit of shiny a little bit of different colors it's hard to tell but there's a little bit of other colors in here um some pinks and whites different shades of whites cream and white very pretty i'll put that back over there this looks like a one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. Oh, this is the blanket. Look at that retro blanket. It has those little cross things in it. Not really probably why I got it. I think I got it because it's $21 for the yarn. And there's two, four, six of them. And it's worsted weight. And this is pink, blue, green, red, and white. And how much yardage is that for $21? And we get a zipper bag. Isn't that great? Don't we love our zipper bags? Let me see what is on one of these skeins. It's the worsted very nice these are big balls um this one's called raspberry and it's a four with 490 yards so almost 500 yards times six three thousand yards for 20 bucks 21 bucks so yeah I, that's probably why i bought it because it was very cheap with a lot of yardage I'm not as excited about this blanket because of those Jacob's ladder things. Don't 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 encourage me to do anything, but I really like that other one I saw. 
I really, really liked that one. This one's kind of cool, though. The middle. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like the Jacob's Ladder thing. I probably would not do it. No. And I don't know if there's a way I could do it without doing that. So. Not too bad. Well, that's it for the Hershner's. That is my two boxes that I got. Some mystery stuff and some stuff bought on purpose. So thanks for watching this yarn haul, this yarn opening. And I'm going to put this one up today, which is Wednesday. So I still have my um, April Mystery Yarn Challenge video up. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please go take a look. And if you're um, new, I explain everything in it in the description. I'll have the uh, information that I send to everybody when they get their emails. And if you have any other questions about it, you can contact me. Now, if you have been playing for a while you can still watch it if you want to speed it up a little bit and um it gives you it's pretty much the same information except i let you respond to that video instead of sending me an email if you've already been playing for a while that way i'll know you want to play and you don't have to go to all that trouble i already have your information but make sure i i i will verify if i have discrepancies i did have somebody that gave me an address and it was different from the one i already had so i had to verify it was like one number off and so i had to make sure i had the right address so okay all right thanks for watching this one and i have got to get these guys their hugs i just got home from work and nobody's got their hug yet huh you want a hug do you want a hug okay <laughs> i fed them but they're not eating i'm gonna go eat now so, all right, guys, thanks for watching this yarn haul. This was Hirschner's and um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Now I've got some more to choose from. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.